So I have to hear your response to the questions that you were not to uh, I don't think there should be any daylight between the United States of America and the state of Israel. I think the question was poorly framed. This is Jeffrey Chase. He's a tracker with the Democratic State Central Committee, who his job it is, he's a very nice person, but his job is to try to catch me saying something improvident. Um, so I, I measure my words when, um, when I'm, I measure my words Big in all. Big Brother is always watching. I measure my words in all circumstances, but I'm particularly mindful of yeah. not trying to say. But I would say to anyone who is interested that um, we, the state of Israel uh, deserves the support of the United States of America. And I don't know if anyone saw Netanyahu's speech the other night. I did. To APEC. Uh, APEC yeah. I was glued to the television. He is a masterful politician. And um, I, th I thought the question wasn't fairly framed because I said that Israel was taking aggressive. an aggressive posture. Yeah. I think Israel is taking a realistic, defensive posture, making sure that its citizens aren't exposed to the risk of a nuclear weapon. Right. right. You know, and all the Democratic listeners will enjoy that response. Well, I, I hope it's not a partisan issue. But no, I know. But they Jeffrey, we spend a lot of time together. <laughs> this is John Lucker. Mitchell Jeff. Mitchell Jaffe. Hi, Jeff. Jenny Lamont. Hi. Who are here uh, to watch this debate. And support you. And support you. Thank you. Yes. Hopefully the men's room is off. Hopefully the voters are going to fall through the group here as well. No. I used to about the uh, providing uh, and rights to, and we have, I know, we have friend here, Jeffrey. providing rights to uh, other states to be able to, you know, yeah. gun control and everything else. Well, and you stood your ground even in a very difficult environment. You know what? In this business, if you can't stand your ground, you're not going to go very far. Because you can't say one thing to one person on Monday and another person to another person you know, on Tuesday. It catches up with you. So. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. No problem. I, you, you know, I support all you guys, but I know I have one favorite one. But yes, yeah, so um, I understand. But I understand that you know, I admire people when they take a stand like that. And when you're in that situation, you don't back down. You stay with your principle, which I think is very commendable. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll beat up Gail Slasberg. I'll say that too. I'll beat up Gail, Gail Slasberg. We'll get your bill out of committee. Thanks. Marge has a bill in committee. As long as we get it for, as long as we get it for August. Yes. I mean, we're stuck now. I understand. April is April, but August. Okay. What bill do you have in committee? Huh? What bill is in committee? We want to make it so that the primaries can be at one polling place, that you don't have to open all the polling places. Uh, yeah. It would save the town's money. Yeah. And it really would. Yeah. So, you know, as I said, uh, the thing is, we put the, the number 60,000, and that could be the discretion. That doesn't bother the cities. We're not bothering the cities. Mm -hmm. But all the little towns. So everyone, basically, one polling place for every 60,000 or something yeah. like that, or anyone under 60,000 can have one, yeah. 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 And Schlesberg is against that. Yeah. I also understand Looney is sure. Oh, yeah? So how are we going to get the Senate? He's trying. Yeah. I have to give him a lot of credit. Do you know why, why are they against it? Do you know? 